Uh, Admiral, thank you for your public service, your long service, and we wish you well in retirement. Uh, since Senator Rounds is not here, I will speak for him in that we have the privilege of leading the Cyber Subcommittee, and I want you to know that we think the public sectors in the Department of Defense are woefully unprepared and split and segmented and not coordinated uh, to be able to handle now what is one of the greatest threats to our national security, the cyber attacks that constantly come. And we feel that about the private sector community as well. Now, having said that, Mr. Chairman, I want to enter into the record a letter that Senator Blumenthal, Senator Shaheen, and I sent to the Secretary of Defense February the 6th. And one of the things that we ask is that the national mission teams, which are part of U.S. Cyber Command's Cyber Mission Force, should be ordered to prepare to engage Russian cyber operators and disrupt their activities as they conduct clandestine influence operations against our forthcoming elections. Uh, would you enter that in the record, Mr. Now, Admiral, let me ask you, uh, is there any question in your mind that they have they, the Russians, Russians, have conducted these kind of activities against our past election? No, sir. Okay. Uh, and in an answer to Senator Reid, you had said, uh, yes, if the Russians were successful, as if there was some doubt in your mind that they had been successful. That's not the case. No, sir, I apologize. The point I was trying to make, the, the quote that Senator Reid used was from the strategy where it talked about acts of significant consequence, and I was trying to get to the consequence okay. piece so, of my Okay, so we have been attacked, and there are a lot of us that feel like we are still being attacked and that we're going to be attacked, particularly with regard to our elections, which we consider as critical infrastructure. Uh, and let the record note that you nodded affirmatively. Uh, so what's the holdup? I'd say th there's a series of, and again, this is much broader than the DOD, much broader than Cyber Command. Um, Department of Homeland Security is overall responsible for this particular, the election infrastructure within the segments, the private that have been identified as critical infrastructure. They're the sector lead. Um, in fact, I've had this conversation with the Secretary of Homeland Security within the last couple of weeks about what we're doing to try to generate insights and knowledge to try to help their effort in their leadership role. Let, um, let me be uh, appropriate and respectful, but let me interject, <laughs> please, uh, because time is fleeting. Uh, let's get, so, for someone who is looking out for the common defense of this country to say, well, they've got the lead and this is that, but I'm the cyber commander and it's going to be a combatant command, that doesn't cut it over here. Yes, sir. The challenge for us is we have this thing called the law and the legal framework that right now shapes what DOD can and cannot do. So I'm not trying to minimize that. What do you need, me Admiral? As an operational commander. What do you need as the commander to say, go after and punish these guys that are trying to tear apart our critical infrastructure? What do you need? So I'd need a policy decision that indicates that there's specific direction to do that. And then I would need, again, I'd have to tee up the normal way we work this process. I would then be tasked to tee up some specific options, and I'd rather not go into the specifics of any of that. Then they would be reviewed by the secretary of the chain of command. The secretary ultimately make a recommendation to the president as what he, the secretary's views are here. And then based on that, we'd be given specific direction potentially and specific authority. So you need a direction and a specific authority from 
the White House. Right. The president ultimately would make this decision the you know, in accordance with a recommendation, in my experience, from the Secretary of Defense and others. I would assume the Department of Homeland Security and others would be So the chain of command is what yes, you need. Sure. All right. Uh, let the record reflect that we have written to the Secretary of Defense February the 6th and would appreciate an answer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Admiral, thank you for your decades of service. 